Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Vegan View. So today we are doing a What I Eat in a Day, but it's a little different because we have a challenge. And we actually got this idea from one of you who commented, so shout out to you, whoever you are. Uh, we are going to be eating gluten-free, nut-free, and soy-free for a day. So we're going to show you how it's done. Roll the footage. <laughs> which I feel like is gonna be really good for my body and I don't think it's gonna be that hard. So I'm really excited today. Um, first things up, let's make breakfast. Let's take some fresh spring water and I'm gonna put some liquid chlorophyll in there. Just to have something because I'm probably not gonna have tea this morning. So just put a little chlorophyll. Whew, look at that. Uh, since I'm not going to have my tea right now, um, this is just really good to jumpstart my digestive system and just good for immunity, which is what I use tea for anyways, is um, to boost my immunity and get like my herbs in and everything. So this is really good too with like lemon juice, um, fresh squeezed lemon juice, but usually I just drink it like this. You know, I like to say I eat what the plants eat. <laughs> So first, let's make a smoothie. Um, I'm gonna put my homemade hemp milk in there first into the blender like this. And yeah, super easy to make and super delicious. I'm going to put my green superfood powder. I really like this. Really good way to get your greens in the morning. Then I'm gonna put this uh, chia hemp and flaxseed mixture inside. Gotta have your seeds. Then I'm going to put this. Uh, I have this tropical berry and coconut blend. I really like these pre made packages with like the different fruit blends in it because it's just all in one place. I'm put that in there. More milk. Just a little water. And let's blend it. Great way to start my day. A smoothie usually kind of fills me up in the morning until lunchtime. So. I just love them in the morning because I can just get on and carry on with my to-do list and <laughs> I don't have to worry about, you know, sitting over a stove cooking all morning. There is my delicious cold, super cold smoothie. And yeah, this is going to last me a little while, so cheers. Oh, and let me know what you guys put in your smoothies, like different things that you guys put in your smoothies. This is so good. All right, I'm gonna show you guys everything I ate today. Soy-free, gluten-free, and nut-free. Let's go. Of course, I'm gonna start with coffee first thing. Normally, I have espresso, it's my go-to, but lately I've been finding myself reaching for cold brew. It's super tasty. And then I'll just use this Chobani Oat Sweet and Creamy Creamer. Okay, let's go make breakfast. For breakfast, I decided on some oatmeal, so I'm just heating up one cup of water, and I'm gonna put a half a cup of oatmeal in there. And I'm going to do just some berries, some raspberries and some blueberries. And I'm gonna do some agave. And I love putting brown sugar in my oatmeal, so I'm gonna put like a spoonful of that in there. All right, so I put a pinch of salt in there, and my water's boiling, so I'm gonna throw my oats in there. All right, now I'm gonna let this simmer for like 10 minutes. So I just rinsed my berries. I got blueberries and raspberries. I was gonna top the oatmeal off with them just as they are, but I kinda wanna try something different, so I think I'm gonna throw them in with the oatmeal and mash them up a little bit. All right, so I mashed up the berries in there a little bit and I'm gonna actually do like a little dash of this Chobani oat milk real quick. Just to make them a little bit creamier. I'm gonna throw the spoonful of brown sugar in there now just so it can melt in there. 
Okay, so it's definitely not the most aesthetic looking oatmeal, but I, I don't know, I just wanted the berries to be warm. Normally, you know, when you top it, you can make it look all pretty, but whatever, I think this will be tastier. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of agave on top, just like that, and it's ready. All right, so it's not the prettiest oatmeal. Honestly, sometimes it's nice to just have like a very simple oatmeal. I tend to like get a little crazy and put way too many toppings and then <laughs> I end up eating like the majority of the toppings and not much of the oatmeal. It smells so good. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. It tastes like, like a blueberry raspberry pie or something. The only thing I wish I had was some coconut flakes. I was gonna go to Whole Foods, but Whole Foods on a Friday, not the vibe. Oh, there's also this YouTuber I watch that puts like dark chocolate in her oatmeal as it's cooking, so it melts down and it's like a chocolatey oatmeal. I think I'm gonna try that next time, so it's so good. So I'm gonna finish my oatmeal and my cold brew coffee, and I will see you guys at lunch. Good morning for breakfast. I am going to make my three ingredient pancakes. I have this recipe on my blog from years ago. It's one that I make all the time. It's so good. It's a staple in our house and it's literally just three ingredients. It's gluten-free oats, bananas, and whatever plant-based milk you like. And we're using oat milk today to adhere to no soy and no nuts. So yay. So I'm gonna take you along my day. I'm gonna go on a hike. So I'm gonna start with a smoothie, but a small smoothie. I don't like to really fill myself up when I'm hiking, especially long distances, because then it weighs you down. Um, so we'll start with my smoothie. Let's go. I have banana and I'm adding some mango in there and I'm adding some organic kale. And I added some strawberries. I'm adding some of this uh, Trader Joe's tangerine juice to this. I love orange juice and tangerine juice in my smoothies. I think it makes it so nice. Now it's going to be delicious. Here's your pre-hike smoothie. You can be honest if you hate it. Mm. It tastes very fruity. It doesn't look like it would. Yeah, because it's green. I added lots of kale to this. So good. You can't even taste the kale. Two bananas, because I made it for Layla and I. So two bananas, handful of strawberries, a bunch of kale. The like strawberries were made it very sweet. Um, the mango probably. Mango, yeah. yeah, the mango, a good amount of mango. And um, it was like four handfuls of kale. So it was a lot of kale. You can't even taste it. We are now at TK Coffee in Pacoima. We're giving it a try. I'm here with Elisa <laughs> and Layla. We're gonna go on a hike, but we are stopping by to get some caffeine first on this soy-free, gluten-free, nut-free day. Let's make it happen. Spice, so sweet cinnamon, mm -hmm. iced latte. oat milk latte. Yes. That's my favorite, that's what I want. you. And I just discovered that they don't charge extra for plant milks Ooh, here. <laughs> it's just no extra charge, which is amazing. Everybody needs to do that. Oh, my phone keeps on correcting all Oh my god, Obama. that's delicious. What is that it? That is so good. Oh, that brown sugar. It's thing? a sweet, yeah, the sweet cinnamon mm. oat milk latte with their own house-made brown sugar sweetener. Okay, I'm gonna that is this so good. Thin. We just made it to Angeles National Forest and we're here to try out the Trails Canyon Falls Trail. 
Canyon Falls Trail. Trail Canyon Falls Trail. Trail Canyon Falls Trail. Trail Canyon Falls Trail Trail. Trail Trail. Trail of the Canyon Falls. Here I have Annabelle. She's so excited. She's ready to hike. Yeah, she's good. guys so for lunch I'm going to make some vegan shrimp tacos using these tortillas and my favorite vegan shrimp as you can see it's soy free and gluten free so this is what the vegan shrimp looks like and I'm gonna put them in the air fryer for like 10 minutes while I get the toppings going so I have an avocado I have some cabbage I have some key limes lemon and tomatoes and I'm going to start by making like a little cabbage slaw type thing for the tacos to dress on top. Now I'm going to get my avocado together because I feel like it's going to be super good with like chunks of avocado on the tacos. I'm going to just cut up some tomatoes so that the tacos can be super, super fresh. I love tomatoes. Like... When I have a full garden one day, I'm gonna need a tomato plant as well as a lemon plant. And I definitely need a potato plant. <laughs> then I'm gonna take one of my key limes. I like to heat up my tortillas a little bit in some oil on the pan. You know, a little crispy and warm and super delicious like that so now that these are done i'm gonna just put them on a plate with the paper towel Get my shrimp out of the air fryer and i'm gonna just season it up a little bit with some garlic powder some spicy garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper. The shrimp tastes really good with black pepper and a little bit of paprika. Just, you know, just a nice little dust. Now let's build our taco. We could put some shrimp on there like this. Mm -mm -mm. And then I'm gonna go in and put a little slaw. It smells so good, you guys. Like, I literally wish you could come smell this. And then I'm gonna put a little tomato. These are street tacos, street size tacos. So, you know, I'm gonna eat way more than three. And then I'm gonna put some hot sauce on it because, you know, I have to have it spicy. And here they are. My little quick shrimp tacos, like you guys, this literally didn't take me that much time at all. Like 15, 20 minutes, maybe max. And honestly, I feel like it'll taste really good with this Parmesan. Wait, let me make sure it's nut free. Yeah, I don't see any nuts in it, but it says dairy free, gluten free, and soy free. So yeah, I don't think there's any nuts in this. And I'm gonna just like that. Mm. Yummy. Okay, you guys, let's try it. Cheers. Mm hmm. It's so good. Yeah, you guys, it's like really fresh, and the shrimp is bomb like, really bomb. So, you guys should definitely try this. Okay, so it's officially lunchtime and it's like five o'clock, so it's already dark out. That oatmeal kept me full for a while. It's gonna be a bit of a late lunch today, which means an even later dinner, but I think I'm gonna do a like a gluten-free pasta veggie bowl kind of thing. I saw this influencer that I follow on Instagram posted it the other day and it looked so delicious, so I kind of just screenshotted it and copied the ingredients she had put in there. Okay, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients. Uh, this is a gluten-free pasta that I already had pre-cooked, which is nice, because it's had some time to sit in the fridge and get cold, because we want this salad to be cold. I have some fresh basil, um, organic fire-roasted red peppers, some artichoke hearts, black olives, a red onion, 
salt and pepper, and some lemon. All right, let's assemble. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off by throwing the pasta into the bowl first, since that's already ready to go. That much pasta. All right, so I'm just gonna put them all together like this and then roll it up and just do some little slices. Do some black olives next. <laughs> My cat heard me open a can and thought that it was more food for her, even though she was just fed five minutes ago. Yeah, you already got fed. <laughs> so the recipe calls just for some lemon juice and olive oil. So sadly, I don't have one of those neat little lemon juice squeezers. Some salt and pepper. Some pepper. And we're going to finish it off with some lemon zest. This is the final result. Mm -hmm. And that was so simple and easy to make too. All right, I'm gonna take a seat on the couch, finish this up, and then I'll see you guys at dinner. All right, it is lunchtime now. I'm gonna make something that I make all the time. It's just a burrito bowl, and I make jackfruit like carnitas, so to speak. So let's start with the carnitas. Okay, so you're just gonna take a can of jackfruit and you're gonna drain it. So once you have that drained, then you're going to just kind of cut it into pieces kind of shred it up with your fingers. Just basically you wanna break it up into smaller pieces. You're gonna add it to a towel or a paper towel. You just wanna try to wring out as much of the water as possible. So I'm gonna add a little oil to the pan. Add the jackfruit. I'm gonna add some seasoning. So we're gonna do some smoked paprika. This citrusy garlic from Trader Joe's. And a little bit of cumin. Also heating up some pinto beans as well. All right, here is our burrito bowl bar. So we have some cilantro lime rice, just jasmine rice with cilantro, lime juice, and salt. Then the jackfruit that we made together. And then this is just some mashed avocado with tahini and cilantro. Some pinto beans, some frozen corn that I just heated up in a pan, and then we have some salsa to put on top. Yum! easy and I love that I can make this for like the whole week so I can make enough for lunches for the week and not have to worry about lunch. I also made an afternoon matcha doing that with some oat milk so it is soy free, gluten free, and nut free. So we made it back from the hike. We're alive. It was about 5.2 miles. It was great. The waterfall was beautiful. Um, no signal, so we were all freaking out. All of our social media loving asses were freaking out because we couldn't um, contact we anyone. But but I am technically on the clock, so I was just stressed out about work. Anyway, so for lunch, what we're gonna do is by unanimous decision. Am I saying that right? Drum roll, please. Anyway, we all three of us decided that we wanted to go to El Cocinero. And they have all of their meats, except one is gluten-free, but I think most of them have soy. So there's three meats there that are soy-free and gluten-free, and of course nut-free, and, the, and that's the eggplant, and they still have that, the mushroom, and jackfruit. So I'm thinking I'm either gonna get a bowl um, or tacos. I have not decided yet, but um, Mexican tends to be pretty, you know, gluten-free friendly already. 
Um, so yeah, so that's where we're heading. I'm excited to get whatever I'm gonna get and and horchata. I can have horchata. It's rice milk, gluten free, and not free. I'll just make sure that they don't add like any almond milk or anything like that to make it creamy. Um, and if not, they also have agua fresca, which also is delicious. So, see you at El Cocinero. Ooh! Yeah, daddy. Too, right? Yeah, is, is you, there's no nuts in your horchata, right? And there's no nuts. No, no nuts. Okay. We have two horchata? Yeah. So, so did you want a burrito bowl with the eggplant? Yeah, yeah burrito bowl with um, jackfruit and the eggplant. Of course, with everything on it as well? With everything on it. The horchata. There's no like nuts in the sauce no or anything like that. No. So nut free, gluten free, soy free. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. This is the jackfruit, both soy free. And this is Elisa, not soy free today. Here we go, got the bowl. They have the best sorchata here. It really is so good. Oh, oh! Oh no. So delicious. We're just eating right now on the hood of my car. And Elisa's on the hood of her car. That's how we do it. It's gluten free, soy free, nut free. Just dock fruit, eggplant, um, cabbage, chipotle mayo, pico de gallo, cilantro, um, rice, and beans. Bomb. Delicious. The best. Look at this, damage. Okay guys, for dinner I am having some injera, gluten free, soy free, and nut free. I got a vegan feast and look at all of this. I have lentils, chickpeas, greens, cabbage, um, tomato salad, green beans, oh my goodness. And the injera right now is gluten free, it's all teff. It's gonna be good. And this is literally my favorite, the jalapeno sauce. We've reached dinner time. Plan for dinner is to make a taco bowl. I looked up some recipes earlier. I'm gonna show you guys all the ingredients now. You know what? I thought this was gonna be a lot more challenging than it actually was. I just had to actually like make an effort and cook for myself because my toxic trait for 2021 and now going into 2022 is way too much takeout. And for some reason I can't get enough veggie grill. Like I could eat veggie grill every day. That's not, it's not okay. Like I need to calm down. Anyways. All right, so I got my bell peppers nice and chopped, my red onion. I'm gonna cook these now. And while I'm cooking them, I'll chop off my tomatoes and start assembling my bowl. All right, so now I'm gonna throw in some mushrooms. These are just pre-sliced baby bellas. I'm gonna do some salt and pepper. Alright, next I'm going to throw in some spinach. Alright, now I'm throwing in my chopped red onion. I like doing this last because I don't like when red onion is overly cooked. I feel like it gets kind of like a slimy texture. Alright, so I have my tomatoes chopped and ready. I have some lime slices. I have some cilantro. And now I'm going to cook my beans and rice. So the recipe calls for some plant-based cheddar and I don't really feel like just putting it on top and not having it melted or anything like that. And I remember that, I don't remember if it works with this cheese or not, but hopefully um, you can make like cheese crisps. So I thought that would be like a delicious topping on the taco bowl. So let's try it. All right, so I'm gonna try to flip it. Yay! 
Okay, I think it's gonna work. All right, I'm gonna do a few more. So it's time to assemble our bowls. I take my bean and rice mixture, put that into a bowl. Next, I'm gonna put my jalapenos on there. These are just pickled jalapenos. Some tomatoes. Doesn't look pretty, but I know it's gonna taste good. Some avocado. This is what it looks like. Oh, and of course, I'm gonna be putting some salsa on there. I'm just gonna use this one. And I'm gonna top it off with some Cholula hot sauce. All right, so I completed my task of making meals that were soy-free, nut-free, and gluten-free. And at first I was a little worried about doing this because honestly I've gotten into a terrible habit of ordering takeout way more often than I'm willing to admit to you guys. And I ate a lot healthier. I haven't eaten like just veggies, like proper veggie meals in a while. I've just been eating just things that are highly processed. I'm gonna eat my dinner now and I'll see you guys next week. All right guys, it's dinner time. I'm gonna make some dinner, but I'm gonna have this kombucha while I do. This is from Health Aid. It's a grape flavor. I have not tried this flavor, so let's give it a go. I love most of Health Aid's flavors, so. I like that, but it does have kind of like that artificial grape taste to it, like kind of like medicine. I love that taste. <laughs> so if you like it, you'll like it. Okay, so. This is what we're making tonight. It's Old Faithful. I literally, hello. I know I say this about every single thing I've made today, but I do really do. We make this probably once a week. It is bonza pasta with Rao's tomato sauce. So bonza is gluten-free. It is made with chickpeas, tapioca, and xanthan gum. Those are the only three ingredients in it. It's my favorite gluten-free pasta. I honestly eat it all the time, not even on purpose, but just because I like how it has a lot of protein, a lot of fiber, and I just feel like it's adding veggies, but it tastes like pasta. And then Rao's is just tomatoes, olive oil, onions, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, and oregano. And we are gonna add some broccoli on top as well. I'm just gonna roast some of this in my toaster oven and with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper and just add in some extra veg. So let's do it. All right, this is a trick I learned from Lauren Toyota of Hot For Food. She is so freaking talented and I trust her with my life when it comes to food. She said, you wanna salt your pasta water like the sea. So I put so much salt in and it really does make such a difference. I think it's more for like not gluten-free pasta but I still do it with the bonza pasta and I feel like it comes out really well. We are gonna wait for that to boil. All right, we are boiling, so we are gonna add the pasta. I mean, you guys really don't need to see this, but <laughs> here you go anyways. All right, drained and rinsed the pasta and now I'm gonna add it to the sauce. It's a lot of sauce for the pasta, but it will kind of soak up a little bit. I just never know what to do with like that little bit of extra pasta sauce. Just gonna let that cook into the noodles for a minute or two. All right, we are complete. I'm gonna add some nooch on top, so please enjoy the nooch shower. It's snowing. And here you have it, a very easy, hearty, gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free dinner. I'm gonna go watch TV on the couch, but first let's taste it. Mm, so freaking good, so flavorful. This is just veggies. Like you got chickpeas, you got broccoli, you got tomato sauce, it's so freaking good. And it's really, really filling too. Like I will be full after this, so. Mm, that's all for me. Holy crap, that bowl knocked me out. And by that I mean I slept like 15 minutes, but I never sleep, I never nap, so that's a big deal. I'm still pretty full. It's now 8.41 p.m., so I'm gonna make something light for dinner. 
Given that um, my late lunch, early dinner bowl from Gocinero is still dancing around my stomach. So I'm gonna make something light, something refreshing to end the night. Let's go whip something up. Hello, so I was craving some orange juice, so I am having some of that. I don't know if it's dehydration, I haven't had enough water today. Just really craving, just like the orange juice, so. I'm gonna have that and then I'm gonna make some guac to share with my mom and I'm gonna have that with some gluten-free crackers, I think. I'm all about, <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm all about intuitive eating, whatever that means. Um, but I just, you know, I'm still kind of full from earlier so I just want something to snack on and I'm always a big fan of guacamole, you know, good fats and gluten-free crackers from Trader Joe's and maybe have some fruit for dessert. I think the two things that make the biggest difference in your guacamole is obviously the avocado. If your avocado is kind of simple, it doesn't taste very good. Um, you can add a lot of stuff to it and it'll still be fine, but it's just, if you have good avocado, you really don't need to add much to it and it's amazing guacamole. And the second thing that I think is a huge game changer is just red onion. For some reason, the red onion does a way better job than the rest of the onions. And also a little bit of garlic, garlic clo cloves. Mix it in there with your guacamole, tastes really good. But I like adding garlic to everything. I don't know about you. Here we go, I've got tomato and red onion in the food processor. I'm adding two cloves of garlic. You can add just one. Why am I teaching you how to make guacamole? I feel like everybody knows how to make guacamole. Boom. I recommend that you get yourself a neighbor that has lemons um, so you don't have to buy them anymore or have a lemon tree. I think they're like 30 bucks or 40 bucks small and they start growing lemons really, really early on. But since I have a neighbor that has them, he he he, I don't need to do that. So the guac is finished. Here it is. The color is not so pleasant. I feel like the avocados weren't that great and um, we're just kind of like white greenish. I feel like the, the ones that are like a nice yellow green are always the really delicious ones, but this is what we have right now. And I'm gonna eat them with some um, seed sweet potato crackers. These are from Trader Joe's and they're gluten-free. And what is in these is yellow corn, corn oil and or sunflower oil, sweet potato, flax seeds, black sesame seeds, chia seeds, and sea salt. So it is nut-free, soy-free, and gluten-free. Here we go. Taste test. Pretty bomb. I'm now gonna go sit on the couch and watch a movie. And to wash it all down, I'm gonna drink a Zevia Cola, if you know that I love my Zevias. Mmm. I was a big soda drinker growing up. My dad is a huge still soda drinker. So I drank a lot of soda, which is why I think I have such a thing for kombucha, sparkling water, and zevias. They just remind me of childhood. And the final thing I wanna show you guys today, which I'm not gonna have uh, for dinner, I'd be lying if I told you that I'm gonna eat this today, but I do have it and I think it's a really good uh, soy-free, gluten-free, nut-free thing that you can have and snack on, are these popcorns. Um, this is Maddie and Maisie, or Maddie and Mays, Maddie and Mays Fancy Popcorn, and this is the Vanilla Pumpkin Spice. Clearly, I've had this, um, since last year, um, but they also have all these other fun flavors. I don't know if all of their flavors are vegan, but this one is, and I also got their, um, Peppermint Fudge one, which is also vegan, which I don't have to show you, meaning I liked it a lot more than this one. Um, honestly wasn't too much of a fan of this one. Maybe it was the vanilla, it was kind of sweet. It is uh, cane sugar, popcorn, sunflower oil, palm kernel oil, molasses powder, spices, pumpkin powder, natural flavor, sunflower lec lecthin, and uh, salt. It is processed in a facility that also processes peanuts, tree nuts, soy, dairy, and eggs, but the product itself is vegan and a great recommendation if you want to avoid gluten, nuts, and soy in your diet. And by diet, I mean your way of life, not that you are on a diet per se, a weight loss diet or anything like that. I'm gonna go, like I said, sit on the couch now and enjoy this guac with my mom. Bye.
Thank you so much for watching our challenging what I eat in a day. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments if you already eat this way, either gluten-free, soy-free, or nut-free, and you're vegan. Let us know what you do and maybe what your favorite recipe is. Thank you so much for following along with us. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Join our Facebook group by answering all the prompts, the questions, <laughs> and we will let you in. And we will see you next week. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.